Blue Bloods is one of the longest running shows of all time, and in that time there have been some major ups and downs. One of the downs was when Nicholas Turturro's character was abruptly removed in 2016. In this video, we're going to be digging deep in and telling you exactly what happened to Nicholas Turturro after leaving Blue Bloods. So let's jump right into it. First up, what exactly happened to Nicholas Turturro after he left Blue Bloods? After Nicholas Turturro left Blue Bloods back in 2016, he's been keeping himself pretty busy and has been a part of some big projects recently. His biggest project so far is probably The Black Klansman by Spike Lee, where he plays Walker. Walker was one of the villains in the show and was part of the Ku Klux Klan. He was an explosives expert, but was caught by the police during a robbery. In the movie, Walker is a pretty important character, and many fans from Blue Bloods tuned in to see their favorite sergeant play the villain for once. We're all used to seeing Totoro being the man arresting all the bad guys, but in this movie, we see him being one of the bad guys himself. He did a guest star role in the Law & Order Special Victims Unit, where he plays a similar character as the one in Blue Bloods. Chaturo plays Detective Frank Bucci, who's involved in the Special Victims Unit with the Anna Beth case. Although he only appears for a couple of episodes, his character is very memorable. Chaturo isn't just limited to live-action movies and TV shows, he's done some voice acting gigs too, with his most famous one being Justice League Dark, where he voices Dead Man. Even though Nicholas Chaturo is part of a bunch of different projects, and he even has some more coming out in the future, people just can't help but wonder why he even left Blue Bloods in the first place. So, why did he decide to leave Blue Bloods? The last Blue Bloods episode Totoro featured in was Season 6's Cursed, which was way back in 2016. His character, Sergeant Anthony Renzulli, just kind of disappeared after that episode, and to this day, no one really knows what happened to him. Well, behind the scenes, Nicholas Totoro actually left the show altogether, which is probably why Sergeant Anthony Renzulli isn't around anymore. Although it was kind of a little weird that he just kind of left out of nowhere, considering Blue Bloods was only getting bigger and bigger. Plus, his character had a very devoted fan base ever since he was introduced. So, what really made him leave the series. Unfortunately, no one actually has the answer to that. Neither Totoro nor CBS has given fans any real reason as to why he left the show. Because of this, there's been a lot of rumors around the actor and the company having bad blood between each other. But the most plausible reason for his departure is probably Totoro's busy schedule. Ever since he got into acting, Totoro has barely taken a moment to catch his breath. And it's still the same now. Even during his time at Blue Bloods and NYPD Blue, he was still doing many other gigs side by side. So it seems like his departure was probably a natural parting of ways between him and CBS. But there was something a little suspicious we found out about CBS, specifically their cast in Blue Bloods. Turns out, Nicholas Turturro wasn't a lone ranger. Even though it seems like Turturro only left the show because of his busy schedule, some people can't help but think otherwise, especially when you look at his weird pattern with Blue Bloods. While the show has been airing consistently every Friday, that's not the case with the show's cast. A lot of the major cast members of the show have left. You probably wouldn't know a single person in the show if you only watched watched the first couple of seasons. One of the biggest examples of this is Amy Carlson, who plays Linda Reagan. At first, she started off as just a recurring cast member for the first season, but later on became the main cast member during season 5. But that didn't really last too long after Linda died in a helicopter crash while she was tending to a patient. The scene wasn't even on screen, which was pretty crazy since she was literally one of the main characters on the show. A lot of fans pointed out that the whole thing just felt very rushed and that they could have given her character a better end. Even the actress herself had some critiques and talked about how she was pretty surprised by the way the writers handled Linda's death. She even added that she wouldn't have done that herself. Carlson said that she would have at least shown the character's death on screen so it didn't feel so abrupt. While that might be the end for Amy Carlson's character, there's still some chance for Totoro's character to return. So it seems he might not be gone for good. Even though we haven't heard from Totoro's character since 2016, recently the actor has been giving us more and more hope for a return. A little while back, Totoro tweeted to his fans saying if they really wanted to see him play the sergeant again, then they should actually contact CBS, saying that they want to see more of his character in the series. He even mentioned that he'd love for his character to get a spin-off series. Considering how much people love his character, the spin-off would probably be a huge hit. Since Sergeant Anthony Renzulli didn't actually die in the show, it wouldn't be too weird if he did make a return. Plus, there are so many fans that want to see the sergeant again on Blue Bloods, so there's a pretty big chance that they could bring him back, even if it's just for an episode or two. Fans have gone as far as making theories as to how they could bring Sergeant Anthony Renzulli back in the next couple of seasons. One user on Reddit mentioned that if Jamie and Eddie were working on a case that ties into one of Renzulli's old cases, then they could possibly ask him for some insight. This way, he could probably stick around for a few episodes and give fans their satisfaction of seeing their favorite character on the show one more time. Next, in other news, Amy Carlson talks about wanting to return to Blue Bloods. We've already talked about how Amy Carlson's character, Linda, had a similar end, just like Nicholas Turturro's character. But 
Unlike Sergeant Anthony Renzulli, who just kind of disappeared after season 6, Linda actually died, even if it was off-screen. Afterward, she even talked about how the show's writers robbed fans of a proper way to mourn the character's death. Despite this, Carlson mentioned that she wouldn't mind returning to Blue Bloods in a flashback scene. Since the whole thing happened off-camera, they could make a flashback scene, and it would be the perfect way to bring Linda back for a while. This way, we'll actually get to see how the helicopter explosion even went down in the first place. Donnie Wahlberg, who played Linda's husband, mentioned the writers could also bring her back briefly through a dream sequence. Either way, it would be better than what the show actually did to the character. Next up, fans have found a very obvious mistake in Blue Bloods Season 7. Since Blue Bloods is one of CBS's longest-running police procedural dramas ever, they've been spending a lot of time building relationships with characters and perfecting the style of the show. But with a large crew, it can be very difficult to communicate with everyone, which means errors and plot holes. And that's exactly what happened with Season 7, Episode 7 of Blue Bloods. When Aaron Reagan was talking to Miranda Gibbs, who was a potential witness to a murder case. But once he realizes Gibbs couldn't really help him all that much, their meeting ends and she gets up to leave. When she stands up from the seat, the red T mark on the floor is visible right in front of Anthony's feet. The T mark is usually used so actors and actresses know where they have to stand for the camera or where they should be focusing. This kind of error is pretty big, especially for a show like Blue Bloods, but it also shows you that no matter how precise the crew will be, there can still be mistakes every now and then. And finally, fans freak out over Bridget Moynihan and Donnie Wahlberg's new Instagram post. After the end of season 12, fans have been dying to watch more of Bridget Moynihan and Donnie Wahlberg's chemistry. The pair frequently play the feuding brother and sister duo, and it's probably one of the most entertaining parts of the whole show. Recently, Bridget, who plays Aaron Reagan, posted a clip with Donnie on Instagram where they welcomed fans back for the new season of Blue Bloods. In the comments, though, fans were going crazy over the new season, specifically for these two. Fortunately, they won't have to wait much longer because season 13 of the show will be premiering on October 7th. All right. Right. Do you think Nicholas Turturro's character will ever get a spin-off series? Make sure to let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. We'll see you next time.